In this video, we'll be writing uh, our CRUD. So here, let us retrieve the list of all uh, companies. So let's assume that there are several companies in this um, website. So let's retrieve the list of all companies. So let's give it a value. Value We can just call it companies as a variable. Then let us retrieve the list of all companies by saying company all. This is how you do it in Laravel. To understand this, you just need to go to Laravel documentation. In the Laravel documentation, you read about it on the database, and then also you read about all the eloquence. So for here, I'm going to continue. Make sure you have double dots here. Um, this way. So this quickly retrieves the list of all companies, passes it into a company. Then we have to return it to the view. So what we're going to do is return view so this basically uh, passes this list to the view so what we're, the view we're going to have is um, we've not created it but we're going to create it inside a folder we'll call companies and the file will be the name the same name of this uh, function so i'm going to call it index just for uniformity you can actually name your your files anything and put it in any folder so i'm going to pass in this value so the value is um, and uh, it will be at the same value, the same name in our views. So in our views, we want to call it companies too. So we'll pass it this way. This is how you pass values to to views in Laravel. So as you can see, we've not created this view. We are supposed to create an index file inside a, a companies folder. So to do that, we're going to go to the resources. That is where Laravel keeps its views. Remember, the views are what the uh, users will see. So a user will basically visit uh, company slash index, and then they will see a list of all companies. That's what we just want to achieve. So inside resources, you click on views. Inside views, we, we are going to create this folder, and we'll call it company. So we'll just new folder. Companies. So as companies now, we're going to create our first file. We'll call it new file index. Then Laravel uses a templating engine called Blade, so we're going to call it index.blade.php. This is the file we're looking at. And then inside index, we can now start, we can now retrieve the list of all companies and use a for loop to, to print it out. But before then, I want to um, quickly create all the views we'll be needing so we don't have to go through uh, creating it again. So we'll create all the views according to um, the methods we have here, some methods. For instance, this is index. It requires a display. It requires a display. So this one requires a display to be where users will see the form for creating a new resource. So we're going to create this. So uh, inside our model, inside our resources companies, we'll create a create dot blade new create dot blade dot php. So um, I'm going to close it. It has created an empty file. We'll look for the next one to create store, store a newly created resource. So if a newly created resource, if somebody posts something to the database, uh, basically what will happen is the person opens a form, you understand, to create a new company. After filling in, they click submit, the form comes to this particular function, and then this function handles the uploading to the database. After this function has handled it, it either redirects to this form or redirects to this one. This one will display the data that has just been entered. So it's also a display, so we'll create it. Um, these things will become clear as we go down the road. Just do what I'm doing now. If this is your first time of ever using Laravel and you don't understand very well, don't mind it. Uh, it will become very, very clear as we go on. So we've created black show.blade.php. And we scroll down again in edit. This is an, a form that will show. So if somebody wanted to edit the company they just created, so that's how they do it. So I'm just going to create, I'm going to create edit. So um, the edit, I'll call it edit.blade.php. So you can read about uh, Blade templating engine. We'll just Google Blade, and then you read about Blade if you want to understand it. But we'll get to that. And so somebody opens a form where they want to fill out the, the method. They want to fill out the, they want to edit the company they created. Maybe somebody wanted to change the name of the company. So this is the method that opens the form for the person. After they have edited it and clicked on submit, this is the method that will handle the updating. You understand? So this one doesn't need a display. 
after it has updated it will just redirect to this method or any other method and this destroy doesn't need um you see where if the person wants to delete a company it doesn't need um a view so we've created the main views we need all right so it is basically for create edit index and uh, show so what i will do in the next video is to start adding uh we start actually write, writing HTML code inside this. Especially, we'll start with the index, write an HTML code to display the list of companies. So, thank you very much. See you in the next video. Stay tuned.